everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you uh, three uh, pretty easy, pretty recognizable riffs uh, from the 1980s. I did one of these a while back and uh, there was quite a bit of response from it and I was I've been had some requests to do some more of these so I've got three more ready for you to go today. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at these. All right, so the first one we got is uh, Photograph by Def Leppard. So uh, first, let's just kind of go through the little, uh, the little chords and stuff we're doing in this, because uh, the timing on this is kind of uh, a little unusual. So we start off, we've got this um, E5 over B. So we're on the ninth fret of the D and the G string. And then we have uh, just a B. So what we're going to do, and when I'm doing this, I like to use my third finger because the next chord is this B. So we're, our third finger is still going to play the ninth fret of the D string, but our middle finger was going to go to the uh, eighth fret of the G string. And then we have an A5. So what we're going to simply do is move our third finger from the ninth fret of the D string to the ninth fret of the G string, and then put our first finger onto the seventh fret of the, uh, the D string. And then we have D5 over A, which we simply just take our first finger and lay it down flat. So now we're barring the seventh fret of the D and the G string. So those are our chords. Now, this starts off, it's, this first measure is eighth notes. So we rest on the downbeat of one, and then on the end of one, we start playing this E5 over B. So it's like one and two and. And then on the downbeat of three, we do, we switch to the B for three and, and then we rest on four. So one and two and three and four. Then we switch to the A5 and it's one and, and then on the downbeat of two we rest, and then on the and of two we hit the D5 over A, and uh, that's on the and of two, but then it's tied to a half note. So it just rings out for beats three and four. So we've got one and two and three, four. And that's the basically the riff. So the next one we're going to look at is uh, like the main riff for uh, Looks That Kill by Motley Crue. So uh, for this particular one, to be in the same key there, and I'm just in standard tuning, but you actually have to tune down an entire whole step. So this one's really simple as far as the chord shapes. We just have the regular old fifth power chord that, that you, you know, I'm sure you already know and have played. Uh, and it's A5, so we're first finger is going to be here on the seventh fret of the D string, and then your third finger on the ninth fret of the G string. And we're going to play, and again, this is all eighth notes, so we're going to pedal the open A string. So we've got one and two and three and four and... So that's the first measure. Then we're just going to move down a whole step for G5. And now this one starts on the downbeat of one. One and two and three and four and. So on the downbeat of four, we hit that G5, and then we're going to slide it down a half step to uh, G flat five. All right, and then the last 
last one we want to look at is Nothing But A Good Time by Poison. So this is just like the intro riff for the song, and this is the hardest one um, out of these three by far to play. So if you are a total beginner, there it might uh, it might take a little bit, you know, of work to really be able to get this this down right. It's like I said, it's it's kind of difficult to play. So we're gonna start off with an A over E. So we're just all the way up here on the 14th fret, and I'm just gonna take my first finger and bar it across the the D, G, and B string. And then we're going the next chord we're gonna have is a C C sharp over F sharp. So we're just gonna keep our first finger here but we're gonna put our second finger down onto the 15th fret of the B string and our third finger down onto the, uh, uh, the 16th fret of the D string. So you have to be able to, you're gonna be lifting both of these fingers up and down and setting them back down here at the same time. So like I said, if you're a beginner, you might have trouble with this. Like you'll put your fingers on and then when you lift them off, they'll do this and then you're gonna be kind of hunting to put them back down. So what I'd really recommend doing is just kind of working with that, just lifting your fingers up and down so you can kind of develop a muscle memory to land them together. All right, so this one, the it's a, it's a combination of eighth notes and quarter notes, and it's kind of a weird thing to count, so you more or less kind of want to feel it. So we start off with this A over E, and it's an eighth note and then a quarter note. So it's like, and then it rings out for just a second before we put our fingers down for the C sharp over F sharp. And then we're going to lift our fingers back off, put them back on, back off, and then open. So that's like the first measure plus the downbeat of the second measure. Now, on the second measure, at the end of four, we did the open strings and then back to the A over uh, A over E. Then you want to just keep that your your finger there, just like you've got it. But now we're going to put your second finger onto the fifteenth fret of the A string, and that's that's a um, just a C dyad. And then you're going to take your third finger and go to the 16th fret, so that's a C-sharp minor. And then we're going to follow that with the A5 over E. Then to the C-sharp over F-sharp, whoops, back to the A over E, and then finally with the, the open strings again. So that's like the first two measures. Now we're going to go to just a regular G. So you can just play a full on G chord, but kind of what he's doing is he's just, he's just getting the third fret of a low E and then the D, G, and B strings open. Then the open strings again to a D, then the open D and G strings, and then it just starts over again. So the whole thing really slowly. It just repeats. So like I said, if, if you really are a beginner, this one is going to take a little bit of time to really get it down.
right, so there you have it. Three more um, easy, you know, popular riffs from the 1980s uh, that are pretty easy to pick up, uh, you know, if you're a beginner. The, that last one there, like I said, you know, if, if you really are, you know, if you're really green, you started recently, that one might be uh, kind of challenging, but I, you know, I recommend, you know, really just working on it, working on it slowly, because if you can get that muscle memory, you know, for lifting your fingers and keeping the shape and everything, it's going to really be helpful for other things that you do going forward. All right, so if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.